So the question is, why doesn't he grow up? Why does he still behave as a child? How can we help him get rid of these leftovers from childish behavior? <laughs> Those motherfuckers in their pointy shoes are going at it. He kicked me in the face. <laughs> This week on the Meathead and Mushrooms podcast, we're sponsored by Body Glove. I don't know if you guys know this, but Body Glove only makes the best of phone cases. It's literally a phone case within a phone case. within a f It's phone case inception. There's two phone cases. There's two phone cases. You can't fuck this up. It's In impossible. The, have you tried? Yeah. What's your closest call? Psh, this one right there. <gasps> oh, yeah. But guess what? Body Glove. Yo, that's actually pretty funny because I had this iPhone for like the last three years, uh -huh. uh, and we'll go into it later, but I, I was in the Peace Corps serving in Africa, and I had the glove on the whole time. You had body glove? Yeah, and then oh. I finally come back to the States. I'm like, I'm in America now. Like, it, it's safe. I can take this out of the case. Just like two days back in the States. Drop it right there. Like, there you go, everybody. Cracks all Lesson about learned. it. Lesson learned. Don't... Don't take off your body glove. And take off the body glove because it keeps your shit safe. This is six hundred dollars. This phone. I ran over it with a tractor. That's like college textbooks. Six hundred dollars. It's actually eight hundred dollars if you buy it new. How dare they? I know. I'm on this plan where I pay it off slowly, but don't. That makes me angry. You should. But body why glove. Why are phones so expensive? Protects your investment. Thank you, body glove. Seriously, why are phones so expensive? <clears throat> is it worth it? it? Yeah, because it's compartmentalized. It's it's that thing that computer compartmentalized. They made all that shit smaller and then put it in this. <laughs> I guess I couldn't do it myself. I couldn't. So. I couldn't even make that. They've got. They've got me in handcuffs. The they got me by the balls. I can't do it. But, yeah, I'm not sure we can taint. complain about the the price of the phone when computers are still so expensive and the phones. Can are they do though? I feel like computers are cheap. I mean, they're dropping down, but still, compared to a phone, you're going to pay more for a computer than right. you do for your phone. And the phone can do a lot of what your computer can do these days. So he know. makes a point. He does. Yeah. You're, you're uh, just to for everybody at home. Oh yeah. You're my brother. This is David. I am. I'm happy do you to want us here. to? Do you want us to tell everybody your last name? Yeah, we can probably leave that off here. <laughs> Guess what? It's it's similar. to I'm Kyle's. pretty sure it's mine. It's it's similar yeah. to Kyle's. <laughs> we won't tell you what it is, but it's very similar to Kyle's. Until until I marry and and take her name. Yeah. Are you going that route? No, probably. Not. Would okay. you do that? Would you? Do? Would I? Um, How much money would she have to be worth? For you to take her name. I'm sure that there is a scenario where I would accept somebody's name. Like if I married a Kennedy, and like right. I get to be David Kennedy. You'd fuck it, you change like, your yeah, name. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Done. You wouldn't be like, guess what, Kennedy? You're a Fields now. Yeah. You wouldn't do that? No, no. Because I feel like that'd even be more of a power trip. Changing a Would you do it, Alec? Change Alec. my last name? Yeah. No. To the or, girl I'm marrying? No. All right, what if it's a, uh, a family of billionaires? No, man. I don't even expect her to change her name. You you marry an Obama child. You're not going to take Obama's oh, name. No. Right. no. Yeah, and you're you're the only one that can carry on the name. I'm technically the only so one. So they want the whole family <clears throat> to have the Obama name. I'm the last person to have my last name. It's a rat. Really? Yeah. You have six brothers and sisters, and you're the only one? Only. We have all different dads. Really? Wow. Yeah. We didn't get into that. We didn't. My mom was a freak. <sighs> Whoa. Yeah. Eight? Wait, seven. There's seven, se different seven of us. One of them is my stepfather's child, so she doesn't count. And the other one, Wayne, is adopted. Right. So the rest of us have different names. Except for my twin sister, obviously. Similar dad. And that's um, Josie's brother was your dad. Yes. Yeah, man. There's a bunch of them. Phew. Yeah. But no, to answer the question, I wouldn't change my name. I wouldn't even expect the girl to change her name. <laughs> you, yeah, you got a, I could care you got a responsibility. You think? Keep that up. Yeah, you do. Mm. Right? There's no other... Pagan's really kind of a... I mean, your dad's... Your dad's gone. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, there's no other brothers and sisters with your with that name. Yeah. I mean, that line... Lone survivor. It rests on you, man. Yeah. Maybe I'll pop out a kid. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> did you see the Supreme Court decision yesterday? Uh, on what the television? Uh, Holy fuck! Uh, no, I've been. I was uh, political contribution. What happened? It's just no. Would they devastate? You didn't hear about this, no. Dave? Dave, 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 Dave. Walk oh, us through. 
well, you know, I'm not an expert in the field, but basically what they did is they overturned a previous ruling that limited uh, direct personal contributions to uh, political candidates. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Now, you used to be able to, I mean, like last year we saw a lot of people donating to PACs uh -huh. that would run, but, but these, because there were restrictions on how much you give directly to a candidate himself, which was like 49, I think, thousand dollars each, but you could give mm. like a, millions to a PAC. But they overturned that ruling uh, yesterday or the day before. So you can now. Oh, great. So it makes it just a whole lot easier for a corporate right. entity. Just like, here's 50 million. Right. Make there you it go. Happen. There's your money. Awesome. So that's totally fair. Yeah. Because you're probably going to take it. Closer to the mic, dude. Sorry. Yeah. That's, that, <sighs> it's upsetting. That's it complete, seems like. That's it, complete regression. Yeah. It should, it should be going the other way. Well, the problem is it's a, it's a fucked up, like, trickery that they did. Yeah. Because what they, they limited individual contributions to $1,600 per candidate. All right. So they said you can't. So the candidate. You can't candidate. directly give more than sixteen hundred dollars per it candidate. Sixteen hundred. Now listen, but they made it limitless of how much you could <laughs> donate to a party or okay. to those packs. So basically, if you're David, if you're one of the Koch brothers, yeah, and you want to own all of Congress, you can give a billion dollars. And be like, listen, everyone that's running in the Republican Party, every single person in the United States, whether on a, a state level, federal level, all of it, has to their their interests have to coincide with mine, or else we're, the Republican Party does not endorse them. And if if you if you want my money, Republican Party, you'll make sure that all your Republican candidates are are on my side. Yeah. All right. Well, so it's, it's not just going to be Republican too. This is going to happen. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, on everybody. Um, this is, isn't the goal to take money out of let's, you political know, runnings. Is yeah. that a goal? But yeah, let, let's call it what it really is. This isn't uh, someone giving a sponsorship. This is this is someone investing. It's bribery. Is they're what it bribery. Is. They're, Legalized they're bribery. They're they're gonna, they're making that money back on legislation that. That's and when I when I fucking keep them. hearing about this goddamn Malaysian flight. Oh, I want to strangle dude, somebody it. because it's Who like gives a fuck if they because found it, it or not. it's it's it doesn't matter. It's never been more clear that they're just directing people's attention. Oh hey, check out there's this airplane and, and it's in like it's like the movie Lost and we don't even know where these people are. Know. Oh my god, like we don't even know. We don't know. We don't even know where it is. They're like what do you of hand magicians. I mean, how many times yeah. have you heard this bullshit conversation? Yeah. Hey, do you guys know what? Did you hear about that that flight? Every Apparently. Fucking... Apparently, there's something in a black box and I don't like. I two fucks about that flight. You I know what wanna... I do care about? The fact that we're almost in World War III right now. Legally, we are. Or how about they just legalize bribery? Yeah. How about <laughs> that? Yeah. Hey, guess yeah. what? World um, War III is happening and bribery is legal. America Woo! just legalized bribery. Like, no. I mean, I feel like if you said <laughs> that on the street, like, people, people would be like, you're a crazy person. And it's the truth. What the fuck? It's on the news. It's what not the fuck? We, you read this on the internet, I'm assuming. It wasn't on the news. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just the internet. Fuck the news. God, I was telling podcast. my brother about the news uh, yesterday. Oh, like, I, I got my cable or my TV cable turned off, mm -hmm. right? So I just used the internet for yeah, information. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was watching like some, it was like Good Morning America oh, or the Today Show that was on <laughs> at the gym. <laughs> And if you've been away from those shows for a while and it's you watch insane. it, you're like, wow. Yeah, dude. Like, this is just busy work. It's blatant like, bullshit. Like, it's just bullshit work. It, it's it's not furthering anything. It's just, uh, here, let me try to not think about how shitty my current situation is for a moment yeah. and live a life of ignorance. And, they all, for, <laughs> and for whatever reason, they all have that, like, set fucking vocal patterns. Today, What's a show? we're going to look at <laughs> Little Jimmy and his rabbits. Now, Jimmy has had this charity going for can we, three can we do the whole next five weeks. minutes of the show? It is. Speaking with that voice? He's speaking that. Like, imagine if we did that show like that. Like I think that's voice. what makes this show so so cool. Like, yeah. my, my, I'm starting to get a better picture of what this podcast is and, and what the point of it is and what we're doing, where it's going. It's and happening. it seems like it is the most direct form of human expression that i can put out there Be, like if you're making music it, it's it's awesome you're expressing yourself through mm -hmm. like sounds but it has one it has to be good <laughs> you know like it can't be complete shit nice um it and it kind of it's it's a little bit of a puzzle you have to figure out oh, yeah. what was the writer thinking about yeah, this the emotion, you know you figure it out but it's a way of expressing yourself yeah. movies other ways of expressing yourself but, but the most direct way to really do it is just sit here and really just be open 
uh, with who you are, not try to like push some agenda, not try to like fit into some box or make yourself famous or make yourself special, and just put yourself out onto the internet. Well, it's it's like it's it it's a it's a way of coming out of the closet, yeah. kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a modern way of of putting all your insecurities yeah. out into public. It's it's so effective because what's the ultimate form of human expression or the most universally recognized? And that's just conversation. Yeah, just I talking. think so. People get that. Like if yeah, you, we we're not we're not really sponsored by Body Glove yet, but you know, like we have no we have no ego invested in this. It's kind of just for funsies. Let's pull it pull it towards you a little bit. There you go. Right. No, but I think that's cool. I think you know, do you guys have sponsors? Just talk about the stuff that you think works well. Yeah, and like you deserves know, a shout out. That honestly is you don't have to wait for a payout. Yeah, it's to the do most it. like, beautiful you know. form. Like we don't have to ask. No. We can just say, hey, I actually, you know. We do I like VUCA. Pick, I just picked up VUCA last week. It's pretty good. It's fucking good. Like, it's good enough that I got it again. I could have got, a, you know, a coffee. I could have got uh, kombucha. Kyle really likes coffee. This is something I've learned this weekend. Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's new. Alec and I. Anyway. He buys two of them, two large ones at a time, a single time. Well, only in the, the first one in the morning. Yeah, two in the morning and then, you know, one in the afternoon. Oh how, the how, much, how much are both those coffees? How much they cost? Yeah. They're cheap. I mean, it's like a dollar fifty each, two bucks. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm not from New York. I should say on the bike. Like I'm not. I'm, I'm coming in, visiting in. Yeah. Kyle's from Virginia. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, Kyle is from Virginia, but David lives. Would Virginia, you? So. Okay. What is it with everyone? Not. It, it, I will say West Virginia okay. to their face. Oh, sorry. Sure. And then <laughs> ten seconds later, they're like Virginia. Virginia. I forget it's a state. Virginia. Man. I totally forget West Virginia just state. It is weird, man. Like, I mean, I guess it's because my family's there, so I automatically know it's a state. Well, and depending but. on how you say it in the sentence, people can hear Western Virginia. West Virginia. Like, West Virginia. West Virginia. Uh, you could say, like, I live in East Virginia, and you, you wouldn't know you live in the east part of Virginia. Right. But if you say, I live in West Virginia. How do you say you live in the eastern part of West Virginia? Like, just like how I said like it. Eastern Virginia. Eastern West Virginia. Jesus Christ. Why no, is it they, you know what? They call it the panhandle. Yeah. Oh. So, West Virginia is oh. shaped mm. like a, like yeah, a like middle finger. finger. And <laughs> Suck it, the world. eastern part, the eastern part, <laughs> we don't need your culture. Is the eastern panhandle. Uh -huh. This is the northern panhandle. Uh -huh. I'm learning. We live down here, which is kind of close to Ohio and Kentucky. Yeah. Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia border. And there, we're kind of like right there. On that and we just went through that that uh, chemical spill. Fuck. You know what happened? There? Yeah. What you're you're down there? Yeah, we were give there. Me, I was, me, yeah. Give, give me, me the, the rundown of events. From where you were standing. Well, it, it appears that um, a chemical facility, and the chemical was used in uh, the, the foaming of, of coal when it comes through to help uh, separate certain layers, but uh, the tanks were right on the river upstream of where the, the major intake valve for our water treatment plants are located. Smart. So, um, and these, these tanks hadn't been inspected since I think, 1991. Something, something cool. like that. Right on. Yeah. Wait, which tanks? The water treatment? No, or no, the, the ones tanks that, were that held these chemicals. The tanks gotcha. that held the poison. Yeah, this okay, whole, so this they have, horribly horrible. The poison one? Yeah, they the poison. Checked. Let's just call it that, because it's a, like 28 syllables long. So we'll just say the poison. Mm -hmm. The tank with all the poison in it, located directly upstream <laughs> of where the whole half of the state, nine counties in West Virginia, gets their water. Jesus. Uh, hasn't been inspected <laughs> since 91. How is that? A th okay. And, um, you know, something uh, degrades over time, and it begins to leak into the water supply. And um, How long was it leaking? That's it. You, depends on who you ask. They'll tell you. And it was odorless and colorless. It oh wasn't completely God. odorless. It wasn't. It wasn't completely. It would but smell. you couldn't notice it. Not. But what, yeah, people would say that they have this, like, licorice smell. They could smell a little bit of licorice, and they're like, our, our water smells a little bit like licorice, what's going on? And then they take a shower, and they're, you know, covered in blisters. So How'd they figure what it out? What the fuck? <clears throat> was it uh, probably the blisters, I'm was assuming? It, yeah. People was, just was started the... having blisters. And then they, well, and then there was fuck, just, like, man. mass panic. What was it doing to their, like, Jesus. organs? I have no idea. We don't know, right? Yeah. Like, they're, they're... Yeah, There's not really a level on the... Um, the poison control people like, you know, they were never test done to see what this does to your body over a period of time. So... Yeah, good. nine counties. I mean, and they still say that like it's it's still lingering. Like, you can get it out of the water supply, but like it's it's accumulated on uh, pipes and bolts and anywhere where there's top soil. You, bar shit. you barely heard about it, you know. Uh, like nobody, 
I mean, it, it got like a day in the media. I mean, down there for us, because we didn't have water for weeks. We were tanking in water from the other states. That's insane, man. Hmm? That's insane. What yeah. the fuck? How about how about, no, but listen, the, uh, but then what they did get this so that they couldn't be sued. The guy who owned the poison, you know, chemical tank. company, <laughs> the poison tank. So he filed bankruptcy. Um, so that you can't you can't sue a company that's in bankruptcy or there's some elaborate rule there in West Virginia. Okay. Um <clears throat> and then but another company can sponsor to I forget what portion of the bankruptcy that they're sponsoring, but they help a company pay through their bankruptcy proceedings. And it gives that company the rights to, like, the first round of their assets. Uh, so the guy declares bankruptcy, starts a second company to give the money to his first company, which is called, like, Freedom Enterprises or something. And so his second company just absorbs the, uh, the resources of his first one, which is now so he's right back lawsuit in the same protected. Position. God. Yeah. And he can't be touched. I really feel like that's pretty smart. God damn it! This that's the was move. Such as a good day. Alec, we need to incorporate this bitch. We do. <laughs> want to. This is what we do. Is, all right, if we get sued. Uh huh. We uh, file bankruptcy. Right. And then we uh, we we get some assets or whatever. We we say we'll pay for. Yeah. Then you something. start a second company. You start a second company. And, and you get sued. And transfer the assets over. You got to start our second company. We just. And we got to name it Monsanto too. We just gave Monsanto dose. Yeah, there's a yeah. limit to how many assets you can you can get from the the first company. We just want Angelo. Like He's our company. asset. We just, we just want Angelo. Yeah, that's how that's how you set it up. Oh, Angelo, <laughs> how we love you. We really do. I don't even know if Angelo's being in. the... Would you say hi to the camera so people know what you look this, like? This I don't our, even know that. He's our producer guy. What's up, man? Sure what's up, motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, some other crazy shit. Florida. Stop it. Just okay. enough. Enough. Florida. Florida done. Florida. Oh, yeah, that's all you had to say. Florida. Done. I'm outraged. Already <laughs> I'm outraged. I'm already mad. What other black kid has been killed? How hilarious is Florida? <laughs> okay. Florida just, um, I guess they just passed some law to remove all tax breaks for solar energy, like plugging back into the into the grid. <laughs> <laughs> like they're, they're, they're making it really hard to collect solar energy. What? <laughs> like, like this is the shit, dude. I don't. This even is want to why talk the right Malaysian now. airline thing exists. It exists to de- redirect people's eyes away from some really fucked up laws. But, but let here's me, the let thing. Let me get that e-cigarette, man. Sure, man. I don't only, even care anymore. You don't, you <laughs> I don't even. I don't so even depressed. give a shit. Uh, can I just? Is that what? Yeah, I just said it. Um, but no, I. Th- you know what? I like it because the more that they run that, like. Uh, that be yes, you know, for days and days Thanks and days. For that, that's that's viewers that they're that they're losing every day, and every time they lose a viewer, the you know the the independent the, the podcast and the internet viewers and those those markets are gaining an audience. So I'll take it. Yeah, I keep, think this keep podcast, running horrible horrible crap. I think this podcast community is very powerful. Oh, yeah. and I I think we looking at this one on its face, you don't think it's a very big deal, right? Let's say at most we ever get is like uh 500 listeners right like that's max but those 500 people a lot of them are going to be people that have never listened to podcasts before they're because they're going to be our friends they're going to be like people that we know and they're going to listen to it just because it's us they know us right but they've never listened to podcasts but those people might be like wow i like listening to podcasts let's check out what other podcasts are there they they don't realize that this whole medium exists. It follows that grid system. Yeah, you know we're just a little dot on that grid that's eventually just get, it's just getting stronger and stronger. Yeah, by, so it's 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 oh, it's just amazing. It, really. it is, and at, and by doing it, by maybe we could turn on ten people to podcast. Maybe one of them starts their own podcast, or two yeah. of them start their own podcast. They get like five hundred listeners. Yeah. Though they introduce more people to podcast. I I could see this. This way of transferring information yeah. really growing. It may just be a thing that people do. Yeah. And no longer like well, a big beat. Because people watch the news. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was a way of getting information for a long time, but it was a very centralized way of getting information. Yeah, I mean, you're on the treadmill at the what gym. If, what's on the TV in front of you? What if exactly you can place. get the information from whoever you want? Yeah. You know, uh, whoever it is. What, one of your friends. One of uh, one of your family members. Just some person that you, yeah. you tend to resonate on the same level it's gonna be very interesting during if i mean god forbid we ever get into another war but let's say we let's say all right fuck it u.s and russia goes to war right all the podcasts people who put up podcasts from europe or russia or whatever it's gonna be awesome not awesome but interesting listening 
to news directly from people who live there. Like people will put out information via podcast because yep. all the other forms of mediums will be blocked. Facebook, yep. YouTube, all that yeah, shit. Man. You can't stop a podcast though. You put that shit on SoundCloud, you put it in a Dropbox, whatever. You just get it oh, out. Oh, and they'll, they'll be able to translate other languages. This will, this will be like, yeah, this will be, be to... like uh, like when the French were fighting off the Nazis and they had La Resistance, like that little underground group. Yeah. They'll have podcasts for people yeah. like that. Like, well, this is pirate radio. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, it, it, exactly. The beautiful thing is like, this isn't a new idea. No. This this was <laughs> it's this was done. attempted, yeah. you know, a On long a time ago. And it, how about that? Like in the seventies, if if podcasts came about in the seventies, well, explain what they that try is. to make these illegal. Explain what pirate radio pirate is radio? for people who might not know. So like this, I I don't I just know like the general gist of it. Yeah, there was a, a group of people that wanted to broadcast their own news and have their own radio rock station. station. Right, rock station. They wanted to broadcast the signal themselves. And uh, they didn't pass censorship rules, or, yeah. or they weren't allowed to do their shows or run their network the way that they wanted to. They were from England at the time. Yeah. Rock so and roll is illegal. So they yeah. moved. Oh, rock at the and time roll, they made it illegal. Yeah. Rock and roll is literally illegal Holy in England. That's fuck. why they went in a boat. Right. Good God, man. Illegal music genre. Go ahead. So they were like, fuck it. We'll go in the ocean. We'll broadcast from there. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just go out of waters. Yeah, we'll international just go waters, into international no waters. That's so amazing. I, I recommend the movie. It's a great movie. The late and Philip Seymour dude, Hoffman. When you there. see when you see all this growing, you see podcasting growing, and you see like this the, the idea that anybody can put information out there now, and and you can get your information from pretty much anywhere now. Mm. That's gonna keep growing, right? But you also see this fucking stranglehold, this clamp down from from these you know laws against solar pa- panels, laws against electric cars, laws where there's unlimited contributions to political parties. <clears throat> you'll just all this is going to get more widespread it's transparent people are just going to hear about it more now. so when i see this extreme this ex, this grabbing like these desperate attempts these these political moves that are very clearly <laughs> not in anyone's best interest no. except for like one obvious yeah, very dying true. industry <laughs> or you, you, when you see that and you can't hide it to me i see it i i'm i see that as a good thing yeah i see it as like the conflict that we need if they if these companies like didn't get so aggressive about being able to fuck with the laws and fuck with whatever they wanted, then there wouldn't be such a, a fight against it. Well, we wouldn't be talking about it. It's an old way of thinking. That's why it's so easy to it's spot. It. Man. It's so old. It's so fucking archaic. So when you have people in our position, we're like, what are you what are you doing? That's right. not anything people want. That's not what well, people want. It's almost like they, they don't know that this exists. They don't know that there's a whole. They don't. Right. They don't realize what the internet is. You know, like think how many. If you took the, the Supreme Court justices, how many do you think really understand the impact of Reddit? How many of them do you think really under underestimate uh, or understand the potential of of digital currency? So far, there's like how two: much, Ron Paul and President Obama. How much do you think they did AMAs? How much do you think they really understand what three D printing could do? How much do you think they really understand what augmented or virtual realities could do? Well, maybe they do, and that's why they're so aggressive. Do they, they? Just, they just don't know how to approach it. Probably. I, tend I, to, I imagine I, they've advised it for every They're old white men who are scared really of losing like their job. And I don't mean white as in skin tone, as in the culture. <laughs> but I tend to think, like, Obama's an old white they, don't re- they aren't really <laughs> on the level, and they're it's, watching it outside, and they're used to being able to like do certain yeah. use certain tricks. You know, like redirection. Like, like Watergate? Come on, yeah. man. That shit would not have happened if the internet was around. It would be pretty funny. It would be hilarious. It would be on the internet. There would be like YouTube videos everywhere. Like, no, dude, that was a cop who killed that guy or whatever. It would be <laughs> on the internet. On, it would 30 be 30 different angles. On Ustream live. <laughs> live li- live leak in, uh, what's that website called? <laughs> the, uh, the, the, WikiLeaks? No, 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 the terrible, that. But uh, the, like, bas- the black version of YouTube. YouTube? <laughs> I don't know, but... Was it cool? I'm interested. What is this? Angela, what's the name of that website? Yeah. It's hilarious. Why would I know? Because me and you should know this. <laughs> That's why. Why? It's because it's a look. Uh, it's not hip something. Fuck. Rogan's always talking about it. I don't know. You don't remember this? It's so it's no. like nothing but fights on there and like gang battles. World Star Hip Hop. World Star Hip Hop, thank you. Oh shit. That's why I always see videos like World Star. Like when what shit a great down. name. It's so ridiculous. You never heard World Star Hip Hop? No, but pull that shit we gotta up. We got to educate yeah. you. What is this? It's What's nothing. on the front page? It's uncensored videos. It could be anything. It could be like Afghanistan police oh, killing yeah. a civilian. It could yeah. be fist fights. It could be funny videos. I'm not sure if that's for me. It it's, looks, a, it's pretty great. It looks too real. It's pretty real. Might be too Might be too real for me. Who? who 
I like to remain optimistic. There's boss a, ass bitch. There's Look, a lot capital of music. bleeped out words. There's a lot of music age. videos of various hip hop artists. <laughs> Mike J. Red Strippers. Warning. Capital Music Group. <laughs> uh, this website is awesome. Yeah. But it, it's most definitely the black YouTube. I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is gonna keep uh, me busy for. David, for were days. you telling me before, yeah, no. out in the hallway about you here doing a meeting for what? Oh yeah, I'm I'm here uh, for a meeting with uh, the Carnegie Foundation, and then with um, there's a, a conference, uh, Young Africans remaking in Africa. Why are you doing this? Who are you? What, 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 I, what I, makes you want to do this, David? But I, I, you know, I, I got excited about the Peace Corps at, at a really early age, um, and then went to university taking classes specifically designed because I want to be successful right. at this thing like I love. Like, you know, if I love baseball, I want to train to be a really good fucking baseball player. But I love the Peace Corps, so I want to be. But it's impossible. Hey, when you, you sign up for the Peace Corps, you don't know where they're going to send you, and you don't know what the problem's going to be. Mm. So prepare for that, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> which is, yeah, which took a long time. And even when you get there, this is a little known fact, like when you, when you join the Peace Corps and you land and you're there in your community, you can't do anything for like five months. You're not allowed. Like just like hang out. Is, like chill, like get to know the chief. Why like, is see that? the way it works. Because <clears throat> you can't be so arrogant to just walk in and be like, I hear you guys need some water. Here's your water. <laughs> Captain America, bitches. Yeah, done and done. Okay. You know, and they, like go in and you actually have to like live as a part of it, for, for, at <clears> least <throat> for what we consider the shortest period of time where you can until you start to figure out what's actually causing the problems. Because, yeah. Gotcha. Where, so where'd you go? I, I, w- I was stationed in, in Ghana, in West Africa. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. What it was, was actually, it was, I mean, I had rainforest behind me and beaches in front of me and, uh, you know, unlimited opportunity to do, to do what I love, to go out and make changes. Yeah. So, so what, what is it that needed help in Ghana, in your specific area? Like, what was the main issue? I'm <laughs> sure there's a bunch. <laughs> no, yeah, but... there, there certainly were a bunch. I mean. Certainly? Uh, yeah, certainly. There's certainly a bunch. Turn off. You're not a fan. Bullshit. I don't know why. You, Professional know why you talk. Like you stop right there and you start talking to me like you're my friend. Or brother. Again, we're brother. Try to. <laughs> yeah, so we are. Me and Kyle are brothers, but we yeah we, we don't know. get to see each other that often. That's true. We're, we're usually in you different. were in Ghana. Yeah, that was pretty far away. So okay, what? Uh, <clears throat> I did. I did. I did a lot of good stuff. We had a uh, like nutrition campaigns. Like I could pull up some pictures here. Actually, actually it's pretty. Not sure if we can get them up on the camera. Uh, but we also I'll did like, throw it in later. you know, people just uh, dropping deuces like out everywhere because there aren't toilets. You know, so like h- basic indoor hygiene, plumbing. Yeah, basic change. hygiene. Yeah. Shit. So, you know, working with USAID, we were able to um, almost a thousand uh, pit latrine toilets in, in like so eight there, different communities that we so were able to do. There's a lot of human shit. Yeah. Even in the biggest city, they don't, have, they don't have water sanitation facilities. God damn that. You take that for granted. Yeah. There's, plumbing, it's like toilet, magic. Plumbing, when you come back, there's a machine sewage. in your house that takes your poop out of your house. And that doesn't It takes exist. it in clean water, too. Whoa. Yeah. The water's really clean. So wait. <laughs> if you could, if you could try to explain put their poop? to some people in, in, in a rural community that we spend gallons of clean water taking our like poop away, they're like, hmm, that makes no sense. <laughs> Why? Yeah, made out of a porcelain bowl. Right, but chill, you'll probably never see. They they don't they don't get don't it. grasp it. Yeah, they've never seen it. I mean, out in the the community, when you go to the bigger cities, like yeah, oh. certainly, like they're exposed. You to said this certainly now. again. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll I'll try not. If you keep checking Kyle, me on it, I'll probably use stop it less. Harassing our guest, Kyle. No, but when you go I'm into just the, doing this because he's my brother. I'm being an <laughs> asshole. I'm sorry, David. It's pretty interesting when you go into the bigger cities, though. Like some of the highest paid people are like plumbers and electricians because these big companies Whoa. are now moving in. Like Africa, the new market. Oh, like shit. let's see, let's let's be able to sell things to this huge continent. So they got to build their headquarters, big godly towers, and there's no plumbers or electricians to, uh, you know, to wire the place. So they got to fly them in from all over and pay them ridiculous amounts of money. So you're telling me some dude at that fucking Apex College over there in the corner? Absolutely. Go make a lot over there? Yeah, go spend a year in a development country and help helping them uh, wire up their skyscrapers, which are popping up just every week. Every week. These, you know, Kenya, Accra, um, Dakar, it's growing really fast, and they don't have the manpower or the technical skill to you know, wire them up, so... So I don't understand exactly the what the Peace Corps is to this day. I, I mean, you you went, and I yeah. still don't hundred percent get it. 
All right. Can you break it down for us? Yeah, no, certainly. And, you know, I think J- JFK created the Peace Corps about 51 years ago. Uh, and I, he, I think he really created it as an organization that, that we as a nation can rally behind. Because there's a lot of people that want to do good, right? You know, there's a lot yeah. of companies that want to, like... I even want to do know, the Peace Corps right. at one point. You know. But I'm not going to college for that shit. <laughs> but, and, but the thing is, you can't just decide, you know, if I'm, like, out in Iowa, I can't decide. Like, I want to help this country and wherever. I've never been there. There's no way that I would know what to do. And it, it, we can't be so, you know, arrogant to think that we know what's wrong with, uh, you know, a village not having, not having been there, or even generalizing that the problem in one community could be so the what, problem what of the So what is country. the Peace Corps? We, we live in, in that country for years. We understand the problem, and we help organize them so they can solve their own problems as well. We certainly don't come in with money. So in a nutshell, a government-run organization that goes into developing a, countries and helps them develop. A, a peacekeeping like armada. It spies. There, there was... There, there was um, I think what, the Peace wait, Corps is spies. He's about to say... What? There, there was a lot in South America. There was a big... Because the, the CIA... No, the CIA had huge... Uh, you know, influences. David, and are you a spy? I, I'm. I'm certainly not a spy. And there you're are strict, sleeper cell, aren't you? No, there are strict. I think there every time you say certainly, you're lying. I think is that that's what your it tick? is? I think he has to say certainly, otherwise the I code will go off in tick. his head, yeah. and he'll kill us because he's a sleeper cell. No, <laughs> he'll break our necks. Whoa. No, I'm. I'm. I'm not. That'd be but, so uh, yeah, there, there are there are strict regulations though. That Don't you, break our score. You can't be can't be in CIA afterwards or even armed forces. Afterwards. Or, Really? So yeah, you like could five never years. be in the military? Or it would have to be like five or six years because they don't, Just I like guess, it. trust who you ran oh. into. While Do you believe the there. government? Yeah, you work for the government, technically. Technically? Technically, yeah. Peace Corps volunteers are... Do you believe them? Like when they tell you things, do they? Do you like no, when, really the, talk when to the you. government? What, was, what did what they, was they was do? They're not going to call you. Like, what was the training like? Because I'm assuming you went through some sort of vigorous yeah, training. Yeah, uh, for like four months in the country, like because you speak the language. Do you speak? Yeah. What's the language called there? Uh, Tui. Tui. So yeah, Meta Tui. So okay. I, yeah. I is it French influenced? No, but uh, because it's an Anglophile country, so English is their national language, <laughs> but they have like 86 traditional languages, and then, uh, but it's surrounded by Francophone countries, like Ivory Coast and stuff. Tweet. How, how proficient are you in speaking to um, Kitty, kitty. Uh, I was, I was a okay. A little bit? Is that yeah. what that means? It means like, uh, okay, I call it survival tweet is what most people would get. But I'm really poor with like language in general, which is why I was sent to Ghana because you know, if, you, if you went to a, like a Francophone country, you better be damn good at yeah, French. Good yeah. Or, okay. Right. No, it's crazy. You because to... like you are out there. Like, by, and that's the thing. Peace Corps, like you're, that, that's you. Do you. Did you have internet? What, what did you have over there? What did they give you? Did they give you money so you no. can survive? Yeah, I mean, they give you a house and you have like a stipend, but it's for you to live at the level of the people in the community. Like, so it's not a lot. Right, yeah. It, it's like under $200 a month. Mm. Yeah. Like, because they don't want people to go out there and be like a baller, you know? Yeah, you don't be a dick. Yeah. Like that one guy. So, yeah, don't be a dick America <laughs> yeah. over there. And... Gosh. <laughs> did you have... So I'm assuming your training, you went out with a bunch of people, too. Yeah, we, we, I came in with a group of, like, 72. Is there any ridiculous stories that you could share with some people? Like, being Ab- dick absolute, Americans? Absolutely none that, that I can share. Oh, but, uh, but you know, all these individuals who are out on their own for months at a time, mm-hmm. then when you get them together, yeah, yeah, I should, should, you know. I had, really a, I had a buddy who went out to the Peace Corps. I still don't understand what the Peace Corps is. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't answered the basic question. I don't know. You're listening, bro. Yeah. All right. It's a, are you. they spies? No. Yes. <laughs> Some of them, <laughs> apparently. David no, said, "We're n- absolutely not. They're 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 not spies." Yeah, I had a friend join the Peace Corps like hold on two years ago. But they subvert a local culture with a h- American no agenda. No, we have, like, we have no they agenda implant, coming in. Kyle might have medicated. To they have implant an American <laughs> into <laughs> Jesus Christ. God. They implant an American. Into a African culture. No, that's not at all the way it works. First off, the Peace Corps only goes where they're asked. Like every community that we go to is Ask a community that like send in a request. Like we are having Dude, trouble who with the our fuck agriculture. Is they? A lot, a lot Any of these, community. Aren't they kings? Like aren't, don't they have like dictators over there? <laughs> well, and like one dude's gonna be like, yeah, sure, go. We want you. We want you. Like the actual <laughs> people in the fucking towns, they might be like, fuck this. And they have like no vote. They have no choice. And it's all just like one asshole's decision. Absolutely not. I don't think that's the way it works at all. Because like our, our living accommodations aren't even paid for by the Peace Corps. They're paid for by the community that puts you up. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, like the community gives in. Like they're, they're saying, like, we need help with agriculture. 
And the Peace Corps is like, we'll find you someone with the technical expertise in, in this area of agriculture, but you have to find them like a place to live. Where, where did your expertise lie? Well, I was um, water sanitation because I got my okay. undergrad in, in biology from Marshall and then worked at a wastewater treatment plant for a bit. And then I went to um, WVU, studied soil sciences for the the year or so before before leaving. So food and water, because I was trying to be... So Because I had no idea what the problems were. The most be. important of things, basically. But I was like, food and water, this will be... That has to be an issue, right? Whoa. Yeah. So what are you doing at the... You said the Carnegie... Cong- uh, the Carnegie Foundation. Foundation. What's going on there? Yeah, well, they, they work a lot in support with international universities. So we have this new program that we're, uh, we're going to be launching in ARC with the National Peace Corps Association, which is different than the Peace Corps Agency. Okay. So there's a federal, like, agency... And then it's the foundation, of the National Peace Corps Association. Shit. Yeah. If you had to choose an area in the world to go to, where would, where would it have been? Would it have been in Africa or? Yeah, I think I really wanted to go to Africa. Okay. But it was it was it was the best time of my life. I mean, you have no boss. You're not even told what to do when you go out there because nobody else knows what the problem is. You know, the community can sometimes even having trouble isolating what's actually causing these things. So like, you don't have anyone to report to every day. Like, so go help go gotta, help the best way that you can. You kind of just got to walk around like a MacGyver. Yeah. Go fix go fix the problems. It's all you. It's nobody else. You didn't have a good time, Is that on or you didn't like the project you did in the Peace Corps, that's probably on you, because you're the one that should have come up with, with your project and, and intervention in that community. It's what you make of it. That sounds bananas, dude. It was, it was pretty fantastic. I, I don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think, Kyle? I, I, I think it's all a trick. I think it's propaganda. It sounds know. like propaganda. It's, it sounds like what they're doing is they're they're bringing in some like clean white collar Americans that went to like good schools and have educations and that they think are going to be pretty nice. And they put them in these places <laughs> so that like the culture there because they've never a lot of these places have never seen American correct. Right, that's, fair that's, to a, say. that's fair to say. Yeah. So if they actually put a, a, you know, a nice American in every little spot across the globe, and you can directly influence, well, like, hey, look, with like building Americans, friendships? Americans are cool, man. Going. Look, hmm. you know an American man. He was cool. He helped you make some water. Like, hey, you make some water. Hey, man. Put some hot Hey, man, check it out. Some oxygen yeah, together. This, see, America's, America's not so bad. You guys like that H2O? No, it doesn't matter. Hey, don't worry about them drone attacks. Look, David's pretty nice over here. He's helping you build walls for <laughs> Jones didn't apartment. even exist when these things were put. You know, put it <laughs> right. But, like, but the, to me, that's how I see it. Like, it's all, like, all the, the, the stuff that comes with it seems like explanation, right. justification. Let's play devil's advocate. Okay. Let's say you're absolutely correct, Kyle. Would you say though that their help they're doing is totally worth the propaganda spread? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I keep it cool. in place, man. I I want the world to think America's cool. Uh, I mean, I do think there's a lot of cool Americans. I I think it. it but it it's also easy. works like both way. Like Africa's yeah. tired of being thought of as like this dusty village with everybody sure. just, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Wearing like a cloth around and like that's it. Like there were nights that I would come into like my community, we we play ping pong and like they loved WWF. My community. They would get WWF like, DVDs, like really leg DVDs. <laughs> that was their thing. Yeah, and then like in in the town, like they had this, this one store had like TV like in the front, so they would put the WWF CD on, and there would be like Lil Wayne or something on. They share their music because like, if you have speakers, you're expected to turn it up kind of loud to share you're with expected. other people. Yeah, because other people wow. may not be able to afford I, the speakers. I love culture. It's kind of neat. So like they <laughs> they share their music. So I would you know like I definitely. would go into my my little community, get an egg sandwich at night, and there would be WW uh, wrestling on the TV with Lil Jane or uh, Lil Wayne playing. And Lil Jane. I know my <laughs> fault. This should be Lil Jane. But now. yeah, and then uh, this you is know. Your favorite wrestler. Yeah, I don't, I don't even. I really? need to watch it. You yeah. don't have a favorite? I, I would have Angela. to go back to the day. Angel, who's your favorite wrestler? I actually don't watch it. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't ever actually it, it watch would, it. It would have been The Rock if he was. Yeah, like, still but, the Rock. dude, in his heyday, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Dude, was dude just gonna say Stone fucking Cold balls. Three sixteen like, bitches. It, I mean, I'm kind of upset that I didn't really get to live through like the beginnings of WWF, like yeah. the Hulk Hogan days, because yeah. like I, I'm not sure if he was a bigger deal, but. In a, in, Cold was when crazy. I was growing up, yeah, Stone Cold was the shit. Dude, him and The Rock had epic battles. Epic Oh, battles. my God. Like, series. I miss that. You remember when he came in the ring on a goddamn motorcycle and smashed The Rock in the face with a 
beer can. It was awesome. No. It was pretty great. But yeah, that I, was a big I mean, fan the, of rock, the Rock is amazing, too. Yeah. So, I had a friend that went to the Peace Corps. And we he just f- talked about WWF for 30 seconds, randomly. I like it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I like where this is going. The other thing was cool, because they, they didn't know that, like, it was a show. They were like, this could be oh. real. Oh. Did it's you did bad. you break your hearts or you no. just left it be? Oh yeah, let them let nice. enjoy the let thing. Dream. That's America. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> this is just what people do for fun in America. Yeah, that's how they we get do it. Jacked. Yeah, <laughs> and they pick each other up and throw you into stands and shit. Wait, oh, what? Man. Sorry, go ahead. You were about to say something pretty exciting. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Dang it. Uh, uh yeah, my friend. Urgh. I had a friend who went to yes. the Peace Corps. He went to Africa. Nice. And I went with him to the airport as he was going. It was a bunch of girls. Just a big, big white dude from like. South Carolina. There, there. It is. It is majority female. Yeah, the Peace Corps. Like, there's a lot of girls. I remember so. being in the airport with him. It was a lot of hot chicks, oh. and uh, he was wearing. <laughs> he flew to an African country, wearing giant sweatpants that were the American flag, <laughs> <laughs> and in a t-shirt, in a white tee. Yeah. Wow. In a baseball cap. Like Bold he went move. as American as you could yeah. pause. His name. Uh, I like it. Uh, should I do it? That's Matt. That's... Matt, you're out there. Check out, check out the gym. The, the gym what? There. This is real. Yeah, you're yeah. fucking with no, me. No, because I would love this. Up. Yeah, Kyle, show this to Kyle. We got. We'll pull, pull this. Concrete, concrete, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and buggers. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, man, he went there in American sweatpants and went like, and he was like, "Bro, I'm gonna be singing the national anthem everywhere." You know? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "You're <laughs> fucking stupid." Did it work? There it is. That, those are the ones. Those are the ones oh, he wore. Yeah. Those are the ones he wore. Those are beautiful. It was insane. Those are the the pants from Napoleon Dynamite. The guy the. The oh yeah, Rex Quando. Rex Quando. Rex <laughs> you think I? You think I'm upset because go to Shield every night? Ugh. But uh, yeah, his name is Matt. Did you did you speak to him with him after he got back about yeah. his experience? Did he have a good time. He fucking loved it. Yeah. He was um he's an engineer and he helps build wells. See, that was his thing. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, really amazing Peace Corps volunteers doing amazing. Yeah, work. most people really love it, and they're also the different news. because nobody nobody from the Peace Corps can tell you what it's going to be like. No. Like his village or community is certainly. He had internet. Mind. He was yeah. he was killing. It. He had a horse. He bought a horse while he was Fantastic. there. Fantastic. He bought a horse. He bought a bike. He had the internet, and he managed to buy some property. Yeah, yeah. Like he was farming shit. He's like, dude, I'm doing this. I'm. This might be my homestead. Did he stay? <laughs> no, but I'm pretty sure he still has the property. Whoa. <laughs> like he uh, he had a BlackBerry there, so he BBM me all the time. Wow. <laughs> it was pretty ridiculous. He's like, dude, I'm gonna run this country. Where, where do you go? Where do you yeah, go? Do you know, know what which country, country you went to? I don't remember. Somewhere in Africa. Yeah, I think it was Eastern Africa somewhere. Yeah, but Ethiopia, the thing is, like, uh, maybe. when you're in Africa, you're in fucking Africa. The, there the could be a goddamn civil war at any moment. Oh god! I mean, I, is that right? That's like yeah, that's again that's the stereotype. And let's, I I hate I even cringe when people say the word Africa, just because like oh Africa, really? Yeah, because it's so large. Okay. Then the, you know the point. there's so like South South Africa, extremely different than Senegal. You know, couldn't be more different. And Senegal yeah. couldn't be more different than the you know the Congo. Uh, it's just so just to say African are we, generalize are we pro- are we here's the propaganda? thing man they're all on the same continent yeah, like imagine if Florida was just murdering each other right. and you're like yeah, no but, it's cool we're in New York but think about if you're like a Florida's Canadian or... and you keep being associated with Florida here's a point there are know, land there, it, it's connected by land uh, I'm just saying it can move toward I Canada it. I get it that would freak me out <laughs> This is what I'm saying. I like the fact that Mexico's we're, we're, scary. Yeah. we're blocked off between oceans. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel safe from civil wars in Africa. It's real. I feel like America is, is so strategically safe. It's from, money, right? Like being invaded. It is the good, best spot. Yeah, like man. where, yeah, how, how are you going to attack us? Where you the only from? thing you could potentially do is send a missile and we'd see that shit. Yeah, I got that. I got that. I'm finding my phone and just tracking it across exactly. the... America, bitches. I even I even ran a game show, like a nationally televised like well, game no, show. No, you out. did not. Yeah, no. It's called, called the Good no, Life Game Show. You did not. Yeah. You were the host. Of course, the... I wasn't the host. I was like the producer. I came of... up with the health oh, okay. questions. It was like it was like a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire type of thing. This is phenomenal because that was just a cool way of doing. You know, this looks like talks. one of those Telemundo sets. Yeah, that's fucking. Oh, yeah, the Good Life Game Show, Ghana. Look, here we go, pulling it up here. What? Good Life Game yeah. Show should... with our host Johnny Hughes. Why weren't you the host? The bonafide. Why well, don't they want the pretty white boy to be the host? Hey, we just came up with the questions. What were the questions like? You are a spy. And I did the... Uh... He was on television in a different no, no, country. No, no, no. He yeah. produced television with his American ideals. I, I worked you on the public health side of this. 
fucker. I worked on the content. Oh, did you? Yeah, and uh. I, I used the... Uh, uh. No, when I first went over there, like, one of the hardest things was, like, I want to talk about, like, let's talk about sex. It's just, like, first time meeting a community. Yeah. No one's going to be like, oh, yeah, I wear a condom or... Or if you want to talk about, <laughs> uh, like, malnutrition, no one's going to be like, oh, yeah, I lost a child that nobody wants to raise their hand mm -hmm. and, like, talk about this, like, this shit that we want to talk about or we're supposed to, you know, talk about some. So I got, because I was coming out of university... And they have those classroom like clickers, you know, that they use now. Like the whole audience has like a little pad that the the professor can put up, like a multiple choice question. I go to community college, sir. And they do like well, they can do like a poll the audience. So I brought like that set with me. So I was like okay. polling the audience over in uh, over in my community in Ghana, and then it worked so well that we brought it into the game show. And what was the consensus? Like, what was the most common thing that you saw across the board? Well, it, usually it's. Oh, it's it the exact sure? opposite of whatever the male said. <laughs> really? Yeah, because usually in the conversation, like the males would dominate the conversation, right? Uh -huh. So, but the real thing could be like completely different. Like if you ask how many kids Dude, you know, family you. wants to have. Hey, that's me right there. That's you and a bunch of black kids. Oh, there it is. You're, look at that. You're on the internet. I am on the internet. That what? is interesting. I don't, even, I don't even know what website that is. That's you too. Did you? Did that, you that is me, but that was, yeah. Was did you Google his name? Is that what you did, Angela? Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's another one on the bottom left. I was talking about with the clickers right there. God yeah. damn, wouldn't it suck the if audience. you just had some, like the just something really terribly embarrassing? Like the first thing that came up in your Google search, you just had to live with that. It would be very like that'd sad. be way worse than having a really embarrassing middle name. Or I had old photos of my face like, come up. That was embarrassing. Having like a third arm. That's like, that. like yeah. Uh, talk about embarrassed things that come up yeah. on uh, first. I'm not embarrassed at all. You shouldn't that. be. I think that is because a huge achievement. You, it is. Look at that body. Like, good lord. No, there's no ego. How do you do thing. that? I'm attempting this soon. This Man, is... get off me, bro. If that if that is the best. Hold on, pagan. My last name is pagan. If that's the best that you got. Yeah, I come up with my face and like, that's murderers. The worst. Like that guy over there is a murderer. You look the uh, yeah, like the eighth picture over there is Drumline Rules. Why do I look like I look? I look at Great myself. Great video. Whoever loves that movie, well, but your, so your much. first picture looks like a surveillance camera yeah. photo from a project. I've that's seen. exactly what it was. I was buying marijuana in Harlem, and they caught me. No, um, that's crazy. My pastor comes up there too, which is weird. Your pastor? Yeah. Oh, my old pastor. It religion got into Alec. You too, dude. And it got into Kyle. Yeah, hey, that, why don't you talk about? Oh, what shit. do you remember from being Mormon? Like, I remember just being young, a you know, really a long time being in in that yeah. like for like six hours every Sunday, long. like strapping into Can the you, long haul. Kyle we was going telling me. So, uh, no nah, man, go, go. Kyle was telling me about like the, the sanctity of the temple. And how you, it was a select group that got in. Did you? Did yeah. you get your name? Did you I, go in? I was you... no. I never. I never went into the. I went into like the guest shop. Like no, you were you were sealed like, when you were a baby. All right. Well, they sealed me when I was is that baptism? unconscious. Is that what that means? So, Mormons, I had a bapt. I was baptized. Mormons don't believe in uh, till death do you part. So you get sealed to your family members oh. forever. Who are you sealed to? Infinitely. Oh, that's gross. So what's kind of interesting. No, I, I'm sealed to my mom and dad. Dave's sealed to mom and dad. Jake is sealed to mom and dad. Andy is not. Andy, Andy's Andy's left so, out. Andy Satan. So Andy got baptized Catholic. Though. Yeah, by the time Andy came around, uh, I don't think I don't think you did it. You guys tapped out. So maybe he is. I don't know. I I, I thought he. I was. bet Dad did it. I'm sure Dad like <laughs> snuck into his like room when he was a baby. <laughs> With like some holy water or whatever that ceremony would, is, and just like that. he would totally you do it. He would see it. absolutely. Um, Which I know that's yeah, loving. Like, like he's a loving guy, and if, if you have that belief that like if, you want to bind your family to, you don't what if the Mormons out. got it right and Andy's just fucked? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, well, I'll see you, man. See you in hell. Sorry. Bitch. Enjoy purgatory. Then we would all yell at Dad, be like, "Why didn't you seal it? You're an asshole. What are you doing? Like, Come yeah. on, man. It's here. Yeah, he's like a nice kid too. What? What? what do you think anything like is still embedded in you, like no. unconsciously for Mormonism? No, no, not at all. No, I'm not like I'm That's not a against, bold statement. I'm not I'm not against uh, you know religion in in any way. I'm just I, I have the religion of I don't know. Has don't know. has your experience in Africa and um and and Mormonism and uh, what has that developed in for you? How much do you actually think of? existentialism and how much do you think of why are we here what's going on what am i supposed to do how often does that come into your brain 
Every, every time I talk to you, Kyle. Oh, that's it. So like every we like don't talk we don't talk that much. So anyway, that's we it? talk like once a month. We and we end up having a two hour conversation. I on, think about it constantly. Yeah, that's yeah. the only thing I really think about. Well, I drew the diagram for you yesterday on my my theory of this, how it's all going to lead back to where we are anyway. Explain, sir. Yeah, but your the theory on that too is flawed because you're trying to put down. I'm not trying to put anybody down. You are. I'm I'm happy to say that I don't know. And I'm sure that history will look back at us like we're idiots and didn't know anything, just like we look back at people in history being like the cavemen were idiots, they didn't know anything. Of course we and don't I think, know. I think that's the but, one thing I know but is I think, that we you're don't You're confusing, know. You're confusing um, the, the, the fact that we don't know with we shouldn't talk about it. No, I think people should talk about it. I think, and I love science and I love the pursuit of I don't know. Like, I think we build equations to find answers and find truth. And every time we can replace a variable or add something into that equation to, to make it more truthful, I think that's the most exciting thing in the world. But to have an equation and say, that's truth, um, that's finished, there's nothing else that goes into that equation, this is it, is, is it's some root flawed. It's the, it's the definition of hubris. Is like sure. when, when somebody... Claims an absolute truth, and that's probably the one thing I, I don't like about religion the most. It's just that some guy stands oh, up and said, it. "Like I know, I know." So let me tell you what I know because I know. And it's like they don't have some superpower that I don't have. Me, I, I can read words good. Me words read well. Real, real good. Yeah, real good. Me and Kyle ran in. We had a great. Um, I wouldn't say it's an altercation, but a great conversation with. Two very religious men. That was awesome. This weekend. They didn't realize what they were running into. Dude. In okay. a nutshell, me and Kyle are two like expats from like <laughs> hardcore religions <laughs> who brought in their horizons to a very high degree. And then two guys tried bringing us back and we're like, oh no. Yeah. You don't know, sir. <laughs> it was one of those like it was dudes, magical. dudes came up to us and was like, can I tell you something? Or like, can I can I ask you about your relationship with Jesus Christ? Or like, it was, no, it was one of those. You I, bet you, I bet you got the biggest smile on you your face. Oh, you, don't, you, don't remember the question? you don't remember the question? I don't know. He walked up and he goes, oh, how about that weather? Totally fake. This oh, false yeah. friendliness. Hey, how about that weather, guys? Like randomly, it's like, why are you so nicely dressed right now? Um, he goes, oh, uh, can I ask you guys a quick question? Like, yeah, sure, why not? Maybe you want directions. Um, do you can think, I do you think, you do you think suffering will ever end? Right. <laughs> And me and, Ky- and me and Kyle looked at each other like, yeah, oh, this is going to be good. Yeah. And we turned, we were like, we hope it never ends. And yeah. then we went into this long existential and conversation you, on why suffering and let is me tell you why. development, like it helps develop the universe and yourself and why it's really the best thing possible why for it's you. it's balance and like you can only have as much good as there is bad. And, and then he made a mistake. Bad, he made a mistake. He looked at Kyle. He went right past me. He was no, like, no. He went, okay, Kyle was, so but, what if, but what if we... But what about if someone gets hit by a car? Kyle's like, oh, you're cherry picking now. Yeah. But let's take your cherry picking. Let's go with it. What if that guy gets hit by a car now? Now he's now he's done. He's in a wheelchair. Right. And he's fucked. He's really depressed. But wait a second. We have modern medicine because today is awesome. What if he uses regenikine? He gets a spinal vertebrae back. And then he starts getting these prosthetic legs and he learns how to walk. That guy now is going to have an appreciative life that you will never understand because he values to the highest degree of things you can never get to. And, and he guy, said this to his face. And the guy, the guy was, stonewalled. Yeah. Just, and then his friend came, a much older man, because he realized he's in trouble. <laughs> he's like, he's like, let me get my manager. His, let no, me no, get no. my manager had, real quick. He short circuited, stared at Kyle. I was like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. Because it's Kyle now, and I'm like throwing in fun facts on the side. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like we're like a tag team duo on Logic. Oh. And this guy comes, and goes, um, what would he say? He goes, no, he said oh, something about. Yeah, I remember he said, he goes, have you guys, yeah. have you guys ever had a family member to die? That, yes. And we were like, of course. Of and course, they're going to continue to go into energy and feed the universe because that's how things work. And then you went into a full explanation of why we are literally the same as stars. Yeah, why and we he are. He started the short circuit. And then he started shutting down. It was like, <laughs> it, was it was like if you tried to, to mug Mike Tyson. Basically. And Evander Holyfield. I'm not surprised by this story at all, though, because we're talking about Kyle Fields, who, who I remember him when he saw like uh, someone who was going to be panhandling, like coming closer. Mm-hmm. Kyle would, before he could ask for money, Kyle would ask him for like, oh, yeah. 50 cents. That was my go-to like, the guy for be coming a while. Up, you just know he's going to ask for like a dollar. And Kyle would be like, oh, dude, hey, bro, uh, you, you had like 50 cents. I had, needed for, like, the rest of the I had a lot <laughs> less empathy back then. This is before I started smoking weed. Angela, Angela you do, that too. do you have experience in this? Well, I just wanted to know just 
Is there a, a, a like a, a trend of Kyle not opening doors for family members? Oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle. I certainly don't remember Kyle. Opening. I've been working on that. He has week. been this week because we've pointed out Angela, but Kyle getting better, man. Doesn't open up doors for people. I'm, Jacob's the same way. Like, whoa, this is a family. They thing. just very fast. No, I, I don't think it's like an insult <laughs> oh, no, no. anyway. They Kyle, just like no. to move very quickly mm. through things. Kyle's the people thought that about walk this. on he's, escalators. He's thought about why this. are you walk? Why are you walking on escalators? Why don't you? I hate people like you. Why? It's why, already why working. You, I'm trying to get somewhere, man, faster, and you're slow. Stand to the right. Stand. I do. I stand in the right place. But when I have to like follow one of these guys somewhere and they're like running up escalators, yeah, I'm like, dude. we're already going no. up the escalator. That's regression, sir. You need to think it's, ahead. That's the other side of the escalator. It's going down. <laughs> but it's like, why don't we just put a slide in? Let's put a slide in and you guys would like jump off the slide because the slide's too slow. <laughs> Maybe. I, no, we skateboard down it. Okay, I just, I, I think it's just speed. They're trying to get somewhere quickly or they don't do things slowly. Everything's fast, fast, fast. Yeah, fast, my, fast. my go-to used to be ask, <laughs> ask the, the panhandlers for money before they could ask you for money. And it was, was this really, before the acid it trip? really throw them off. Yeah, this is before the acid trip. Makes this sense. Is before, this is before my rebirth. <laughs> um, yeah, I was a kind of a dick. Not kind of, I was a dick. It's okay. I was a drunk dick. Yeah. I was just an asshole, man. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I once I've taken money from homeless people. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, I mean, on multiple. I hope occasions. that you at least on gave that occasions. money to like the next pad handler. On so multiple you got occasions, it one, you just be like, you get them, out. you catch them off guard. You'd realize, wow, like He's nobody's ever asked them that before, hands. and they've Dude. like got this change and. They're like, well, and you can see them. You know when somebody's like faced with a question, a whole bunch of thoughts come in their head? <laughs> you could see that this person was like, well, I guess I asked for this all day. Maybe if somebody asked me, I should probably do it too. And they fucking give, on multiple occasions gave me money. And I took it and left. Oh, yeah, man. Man, that's magical. Well, this is why too, people can change. Yeah. Like that whole idea that like people don't change. I, I Maybe people don't change, but their their actions can their patterns, you know, I the whole way I look at that situation. No, people is totally can now. change. People can totally change. Yeah, you went from literally taking money from homeless men <laughs> to helping <laughs> to helping one stand the other day. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I mean, people change. Al- Alec and I ran. We were like, we went to get something to eat. Hagen Doss. There's some delicious. dude, just super drunk. Yeah, had a cane. He's on the ground, like in the water. In water, in yeah. So we tried to help, kind of pick him up. We stood him up, and pretty much it. We couldn't understand what he was. It was saying. crazy though. His brother that... was there, and his brother's just watching the, the whole yeah, time. It was weird. And uh, we kept asking, like, "Do you live around here? Can we get you?" He couldn't really say anything. This guy wasn't saying anything. Um, and then his brother like came over and was just he, explained he explained to it us that situation. like he's a drunk, he won't come home. He was crying. Yeah, it was it was, you know, it was a uh, weird moment. Powerful. Yeah, man. That was a real moment. And and you in those moments you realize like, oh fuck, like there's so many stories happening all at the same time, all around us. You know, we don't we don't get even a peek. You know, but somebody's going through yeah. an entire lifetime in this story. Yeah. And before I didn't even think I I was in such a closed little world. That I uh, empathy wasn't possible. I couldn't think of what it must feel like to be that guy. But now, like every everybody I meet, almost the first thought I think of is, what must it feel like to be this person? What must it feel like to be this person? And I try to like just envision that, and and it's quick, and it's just made up. But just doing that, you get yeah. nicer instantly. You know, and you you have to do it. You have to put yourself in that person's shoes for just for a moment without judgment and say, like, what must that be like? It's a hard thing to do, especially pre-judging because we do it all the time. Like, there'll be dudes at the gym who maybe do something retarded, and I'll think in my head, this guy's a fucking moron. Right. And then I'm like, Sigh. and I started doing it because you, you influence me. But, like, every time I, I find myself doing that now, I'm like, God damn it. Now i got to apologize to him in my head because I was being a dick. I'm sorry, man. You didn't deserve that. Yeah, man. Like, I didn't need to say every that time to you, you start being, <laughs> yeah. Every time you start being a real cunt to somebody, like even if you're like saying it in your head, yeah. Apologize to him in your head, and see how much that changes the way that your yeah. interactions go. And for me, it always helps. 
I'm because I'll sit there and just get into the yeah. frothy, steamy, angry, <laughs> just, of, like of, an of angry that, conversation. You ever you ever get in a, the, the, well, such we, a bad anger conversation that you start saying things out loud? Dude, we, and I, you're like, I've been home by myself and been like, no, you don't fucking understand. And then be like, holy fuck. Like I've been, I've been steaming so much up up here that I actually had to express I had to say it. Do you remember of course you remember the fucking hunting certification? Oh yeah. We kept them like we were in a room full of other people and be like, God damn mouth breathers. Like we were just Oh, we were such haters. Angry these and we and they ear raped us most of the time. They did. And one guy wouldn't shut the fuck up. It just, it's making pedophile jokes in a room of kids. Like these people were just weird. Whoa. Well, I mean yeah. they were trying. Should be funny. Funny and unfunny comes from the same place. It does. But they 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 choose. missed more than they made. Uh, they had maybe a five percent hit mark. Yeah, it wasn't good. But no, I, I think there's um, a lot of. It truth. was easy to judge this room. It was. It was easy to judge everybody in that room. Um, and there was a lot of apologies going on in my head about every ten <laughs> seconds because it was it was just really easy to get really angry in there. They were very much like the, like these guys embodied the fact that they used to be cops. Okay. And we're still very authoritative, yeah. even though they had no authority now. No, I think the more often, though, that you put yourself in a situation where, like, you're not comfortable, mm -hmm. be it a, a location, like, maybe you leave the country or you're in a, you go to a different church or you're, like, you, if you don't go to the gym, then you go to the gym. The more you expose yourself to situations that you're not comfortable in, the more, like, you, you let that go because you realize that people are different, different views, different Dude, objectives. that's what we're all doing. Different, this is therapy. Things, right? This, is basically, this yeah. should be terribly uncomfortable. Right, yeah. Me talking about how I like to poop, right. which, if you missed, is on the second episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, we talked about oh, yeah, so, the squatty potty. So, that Kyle's wife the, led, did not let him get. <laughs> story of squatty potty is it's not happening. Squatty Sorry. potty. Yeah, that's amazing. Angela, can you put Mrs. squatty Me potty? Mrs. Meathead said, no way. Yeah. She said she didn't want to explain it to anybody. So, anyway... Once you talk to the world and put yourself on the internet and and oh, well, that's you, how I would you know that's about your I most intimate that's <laughs> your most intimate of of uh, thoughts intimate personality attributes then you it's like you let it go that mm. that that weight that you carry on your shoulders all the time that you may not have even noticed you know that uh, you've had it for so long. And once you let it go, you're like, holy fuck. I mean, like, don't you leave this place feeling lighter? Yeah, we're kind of feeling like open. It's a fucking dopamine easy, dump. E yeah. When we're done here. We're it happy. does something to you. Like, and I, I have to attribute it to the fact that you're being your yeah. your most authentic self and you're doing it in a public way. Yeah. And when you put it out there and you realize, like, oh my God, I'm still all right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. <laughs> It's powerful. Yeah, Let the squatty half the, half the time when I come in here, like like right now, like I was super hungover, like like last week, and coming in today even a little bit. And every time I leave, I'm like I feel amazing. You feel? Better, I feel right? amazing. Look makes how me happy feel better. that girl looks on that toilet. She's pooping. Well, she is not pooping. She has pants on. Yeah, but hey, you don't know. <laughs> that was just a bat. They should have done cartoons. Yeah, that's goofy. Um, How do you think she got paid for that? Makes me rethink the the toilets we were designing so in Africa. We should Dave, back to <laughs> where where are you going next? You're you're traveling around, right? Yeah, no. After after here, then I'm back down to to DC for a meeting with uh, Village X, the president. Yeah, and then obviously with the president, the Pentagon. Then the Pentagon. I gotta I check in. I think you're a spy. All right. Um, Maybe you convince us. <laughs> we're gonna go with spy. Sure. On meathead and mushrooms. Yeah. All right. I mean, the smarter thing for a spy. You can say to what do, you want, but I'm gonna go with spy. Yeah. Alec. I don't know where you stand on this one, but undecided. Yeah, then then we're leaning towards spy. Yeah. It's okay. Um, it's the, we appreciate like your work. Though. The exact opposite of what I do. Yeah, yeah. Sure. What, that's what a spy would say. Did you did you keep a journal while you were over there, like a daily blog that people could read, or like even um, I can read, so I can you, see this from your perspective. You know, I don't have uh, mine up there, but there there is a, a site you can go to to read where a lot of Peace Corps volunteers' current blogs are. You can kind of follow them in their about journey. David? Don't care about you. No, I didn't. I didn't, you didn't I didn't do that. that. No, just that out there. no videos or anything. No, I mean, other than the good life game show videos and other stuff like that. No, but it's a good time, man. It was a great time. Like I'm, I'm excited to go back. Like You're on do vacation. It again. No, I'm oh, on vacation. Well, I'm, I'm excited for the new program we're doing. This is going to be my contribution to that development community because I think that's the best thing I can do. And tell everybody what that is exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, it makes to me it makes sense, and it. What what we do is uh, like let's say you're 
you know, a, d- a development agent from any agency or whatever. You're working in the community, right? And you've been there for a while, so you know what's wrong. Um, but then let's say that what you find out is wrong. You don't have the technical expertise uh, to solve, which happens a lot. Because if you don't know the problem going in, it's hard to match the best person for the right site. <clears throat> but uh, universities and like mass grad students are always trying to work up senior projects or something for the developing country. So I'm just basically a match.com. Uh, between problems that people living in communities have isolated and technical um, experts back here in the States uh, who are still associated with universities to take on those projects for class credit or thesis or so on and so forth. So we take the cultural knowledge of the people living in the village and we match it with the technical expertise that we have on you know, a host of universities. And you're building a company to do this. We're, we're building the... Um, the, like the platform that will match these two together. Would this be like an organization or like yeah. make money off this? How would you? No, no, it's it? it's all nonprofit. Yeah, that's kind of fucking awesome. Well, I just think it's it's the best that I could do. It, like I would love to go back and do the Peace Corps again, um, but I think this is the biggest contribution I could make is is getting this platform up and running. So just a conduit. Yeah. Of, of, of helpful people is, right, what, yeah. is what your goal is. It's, and all resource connect is pretty much what it is. Like if you have a problem that you don't have the tools to solve, odds are, I mean, they're, you know, they need a school. There are probably, a, there are a lot of organizations that go out and build schools in developing countries. you have a name for this yet? All resource connect. All resource connect. We're, we're taking over uh, an old website called Africa Rural Connect, mm-hmm. which is, this is NPCA owned. My company's kind of being hired as contractors to manage the operations. Um, but yeah, and then we've also been organizing the universities together, so they kind of set up their own little network. That's so awesome. yeah, because different schools have like different areas of expertise. So how do people help with this? Would they donate? Would they? We're good. Government funded. Yeah, it doesn't cost. The projects don't cost anything. You can't pay Peace Corps. It's like impossible. You're not allowed to. It's against the rule. And universities, they're doing these for their uh, their graduate program. So it's just projects themselves don't cost anything. How do people help out though? What if this kid? Oh, yeah, yeah. if you want to help, you can you can donate to the National Peace Corps Association. How does someone join? Peace Corps and then go through you? Yeah. Neat. Yeah. The Pentagon. Pentagon. The US yeah. Army. Go yeah, yeah your <laughs> security clearance first, but yeah. And you're fine. Sweet man. So then I'm back to DC then on Tuesday. I'll be home Monday. I'll be in West Virginia for one day. You say hi yeah. to mom and dad for me? Yeah, I will. For Sunday dinner. Do you um, think they've watched this podcast yet? I think I think Dad probably snuck on to, to watch it. No way. He won't I'm not t- sure. He won't talk to me about it. I don't know. Have you showed your dad this? No, but I tried talking to him about it. I sent it to him, and then I tried talking to, talking to him about <clears throat> it, and he like just changed the, the did subject. You send, which that one probably did you send? means he he listened to it. You sent the first one, didn't you? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> if you sent the first one, that makes sense. No, it was the first one on video. I think I sent him the wrong <laughs> thing. Dan Trink? Yeah. You wouldn't like it. Weird. I don't know. We we have pretty. <laughs> I, I mean, we have I pretty got, awesome dad. He's an awesome dad, but I think it wasn't that he was scared or upset. I think he was like, "If your mother hears this, uh, I will he's never." Gonna, he's going to get yelled at. Yeah, he's going like, to get yelled at. Like, like it was like it was like a fear. It. Yeah, because my mom will just bitch to him. When oh, my what? mom found out I started that I smoked weed, mm. she did not shut up about it for like months. Like apparently, it, it's like it's like that <laughs> wife. Whose husband um, cheated on her with a prostitute, in, and she's in, not going to divorce him, but she's going to bring it up all the time, yeah. like as his punishment. <laughs> so, so she's going to be like, <laughs> you "Remember that time you cheated on me hey, with a Filipino chick?" Yeah, like everything Asshole. the guy says. Yeah, so I'm going to order like, the steak. Great. Oh, and I'm going to order. Oh, are you sure you wouldn't like that Vietnamese prostitute, honey? <laughs> are you sure that wasn't wouldn't be what you wanted? So, like everything that that I anybody did at home for a while, my mom was like. Well, he's probably just getting high off that, or like everything was like, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Like if, if my if my somebody was like drinking a beer, it'd be like, well, Kyle wouldn't like that. He wants a marijuana cigarette. A mar- like <laughs> every- a marijuana cigarette. That's awesome. <laughs> everything would come back to that because he wants it, one was, of those it was it was like cigarettes. it would drive her crazy. She had to bring it up all the time. So why would your mother not like you broadcasting a show or helping? Oh, she, your like she would think that it would get back to her and it'd be embarrassing for the family and yeah, neat. Or, I don't know. I don't know. We're pretty. We're pretty proud of you. My, we're, pretty, we're pretty proud of you. I don't think oh, even if, even if, even if we yeah. took uh, even if we had to take a few steps back, even if mom was upset about you know like weed, I think overall you're still way ahead. You got. I'm really happy. You got a lot of love, love and respect from the family. I'm really happy with the the 
the life I'm living. Yeah. You, you know, be. it's it's not it's all play. Yeah. You're happy. I I work out yeah. with my favorite people, my best friends. I mean, really let's break this down. Imagine your life is going to the gym and staying healthy with all of your favorite people. Once a week you get on the air and hash out your life with like people you like and interesting people that, that you respect the, right. their opinions. Uh, you can get into hobbies. You can play video games. You can learn hunting. You can build a computer. You can obsess about Bitcoin. You yeah. can, yeah. dude. I mean, I get, I live in a playground yeah. and yeah. I get paid for it. Right. And you have enough free time to pursue it's any like speed, fucking right? awesome. It's, it's, and I don't know that I knew, I didn't know that that existed. I didn't know that that was a way that you could live. That you could that was a path that people could go on. No, it, it absolutely is. And like New York City and my rural village in, in Ghana couldn't be more different, but that's the same thing I loved about, you know, being over in Ghana. Like I had the time to do what I loved. Yeah. You know? And help how I how I saw fit. It's amazing. Yeah. So you guys are doing it's it. just a great feeling. Well that's what you're doing now. Yeah. And that's what we're you're, trying to do now. You went there, you spent time there, you saw what was going on, you said, I think I can make this better. I right. think I can improve this situation. And I'm going to go and take steps towards doing that because that's where you find the most good feelings. Like right. that's where you feel um, uh, that life is servicing you the best, you know, that that you're getting the most out of it. So you're 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 not working. No, you're it never felt if it like it was work. a game. You decided like what work. game you want to play. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one. This one like tends to like make me the happiest. And you're doing that. Yeah. That's fucking awesome, man. I wish. Proud of you. I, I wish more people saw. Even though I the, don't uh, understand what the Peace Corps is yeah. still. Well, but I, w- I really wish more people did. Like, uh, because I think, like, especially the generation coming up, like, yeah. would pref- prefer if you put, like, a, a question on a paper. Like, do you like the, the Army or the Peace Corps? Which one do you like more? Probably more people would click, like, I prefer not killing people in the right. Army. I'd click the Peace Corps. Right. But um, it feels Can you imagine like, if they paid like Peace Corps releases. volunteers what they pay soldiers? Oh, my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh, my Holy gosh. Holy fuck. It would be flooded. Oh Why are my we doing gosh. that? Yeah. That seems like a no-brainer. Because war makes more money. Like, now. the Peace Corps, the, the hmm. global cost of the Peace Corps to operate for a year is, like, the same cost as the Army's marching band. Really? Get the fuck out of here. Is that yeah. true? Yeah. And it's, like, How we're, much we're, that we're in, like, we're in like 70 countries. How much does that marching band that's, cost? That's like you know, it's saying, but it's ridiculous. And even like like peace corps, like I, I would love to have like a peace corps shirt, and like they have like merchandise, and we do it through the NPCA, but it's just we're soil scientists and development agents. Like we're not, we don't know how to make a t-shirt, but like it would be great for people to have the opportunity to. You motherfucker! A... Answer it. That was no, dad. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Put it on speaker. Is it dad? Yeah, it's Seth. Put it on speaker. Answer the phone. He's going to be so upset. Tell him speaker. that he's on the air live. All right. right away. Hey, dad. Uh, you're um. Hey, need to let you know you're on. You're live on the air. You're so. on. You're on our podcast. You're on the podcast. Yeah. He can't hear you. Say you're on the podcast. <laughs> you're you're live on the air, so careful with anything you say. Don't curse. Uh, okay. I'm no, just, I'm no cursing. Give me a call when y'all are done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, you, dad. Dad, hey, Dad. Oh, he. I, I can't yeah. Talk. Yeah. Go ahead. I love you. Yeah. Kyle says he loves you. All right, love you guys too. All right, we love you. Cool, I All will. Right. Bye. Bye. But no, but like that would be. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I thought for sure I'd turn that down. You're the first right. guest to have a phone interruption. Damn it! Damn it! Hold on. We gotta go pretty soon, anyway. So. Right. Do we? What time yeah. are we? What time are we wrapping up here? Uh, we're ten minutes over. <laughs> 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 Are you good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. How much time do we have? Oh, okay, cool. Fuck it, let's do it. Perfect. But, like, you know, it would be really cool, like, in New York, like, if, if we could find someone, a brand, or someone in the industry that would be willing to do, like, a, a line, you know, with, with Peace Corps, like, inspiration. Because it's a brand, and it's a logo that already exists, and it stands for such great things, and I think people get behind it, and, you know, the work they do is so amazing. It would be great to see it get out there more. But, again, it's not, that's not... We don't have any connections to like a fashion industry down in, you know. Dude, DC. I We're just can't get over scientists. the fucking idea of like, what if we gave the Peace Corps as much money as the oh military? Dude, it would, do, it would do so much good work. It would yeah. be pretty sweet. And I mean, you look at I what they do to, now. Even I wanted to do the Peace Corps, but I was like, fuck, I could be a biology major? Fuck. Like, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so, like, I That's just common sense, I feel like. <sighs> what? I mean, imagine. What was it, like $3 trillion? Is for, for the yearly, military? Our yearly, yearly mil- yeah. military budget? Some shit like that. Okay. It's a lot of money. What I'm saying. 
We spend tr- three trillion dollars <laughs> on the V score, building schools, building infrastructure, Dude, whole cities would be made, plumbing, yeah, electric, internet, and the Peace funding Corps. new business operation. Imagine if we spent th- the exact same amount that yeah. we spend on military, and we spent it all around the entire planet. Game changed. one. Would we ever have a terrorist attack again? I don't. Not. I can't imagine. Put it this way. If there was another terror ta- a terrorist attack after that, I feel like the people from the country in which that ha- that came from yeah. would kill those people right. before we yeah. would. You yeah, wouldn't even exactly. have to go like, over there. Be done. They'd be like, are you out of your fucking mind? The entire- <laughs> they just built a city for us. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm right. <laughs> now I'm saying we use the exact same resources that we do to kill people, and we use it to help people. Yeah. Why is it such a crazy thought to think that that wouldn't work? Because we, it seems I, I like agree, so man. obvious yeah. that it's so easy. It it's like like crazy. you can't. What what's your argument there? Like, like it, how can, USA? I almost want to hear somebody's argument of like why it's better to spend three trillion on murder like, weapons. on murder weapons, murder weapons. than murder weapons. it is to like build nice schools and help people yeah. thrive. But Kyle, the U.S. military does that when they invade a country. It's amazing. The, the I, military's development budget. Say? Is that is that? That's a thing. They'd be like, "Well, you see, it has to be destroyed first, right? We have to build destroy it, it first, so we can build it up the way we want it." What, David? Don't forget what you're gonna say. Okay. But what was the name of that company that the vice president under Bush owned? He owned a Halliburton. Con- Halliburton. Halliburton. Halliburton's got to get their market. He was Kyle. he was the CEO of Halliburton. Yes, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. But, a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't realize that the, that the vice, vice president owned a construction company he, well, that built cities after they blew well, it the he, fuck up. He was the CEO <laughs> of a public. It, it was a public company, yeah. but he was the CEO, and obviously, you know, he had all his boys work there, mm-hmm. and they got billion dollar contracts From under the government under a no bid system, meaning that they didn't even have to like compete compete on on the price for these. They just gave it to them. Yeah. I mean, fuck. <laughs> Were you going to expand on that? I got to stop. I'm sorry. I, I was, I I'm was, sorry, Halliburton. I'm sorry, Dick Cheney. I was judging. Fuck you, Halliburton. Hey, stop. And, you know, that's not to say, like, I, I'm, I'm proud of our military. Like, I think uh, it's, it's pretty impressive what, what I think it's misused a lot. And that's not to say, like, if I was president that I wouldn't use our military in any way. There's a lot of, like, global atrocities that I would oh, yeah. love to turn our military might in. I mean, there's genocide going on. North right now, Korea. We, we know where they are. What's the worst we, shit? No, what's uh, the worst shit that you North saw? Korea, North Korea. North. I saw. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll go into that in a second. Oh, right. go ahead on North Korea. No, just I love. If you look, I at, love talking about North Korea. I mean, the UN report on North Korea is it's, bananas, isn't it? It. I'm trying to remember the exact wording they use, but I, it's like uncomparable, uncomparable to any other atrocity they're, they're, that's um, ever occurred. Are you talking about their their prison camps, right? Yeah. Well, they're they're the whole, talking about the their, whole country. Yeah, prison camps. the yeah, whole the, the right. prison camps. Are fucking bad. They're I mean, really like the, the people that have gotten out. There's only, there's only been like half a dozen that have ever escaped to tell the story. Right. But I and mean, we're talking like parents eating their kids. Yeah. Have you seen the video of when they interviewed a guard from one of them on no. the internet? No, I haven't. Seen they that. interviewed one of the guards. No. I almost they can't. Escaped. I don't even. Try I almost can't. That. Like, it hear was the stories. They're like, so bad. It was on, dude. He yeah. he. The interviewer, some dude, was just like. What happened there? And he'd be like, oh, well, you know, <clears throat> we had beatings at a certain time. Yeah. Your daily and, uh, beating. Daily uh, beating. People, people get beat uh, on the reg, and we fed some of the dogs. And at one point, he was like, he almost like was about to, like, yeah, we did, we like, like, yeah, yeah we did this, like, you know, when you tell a joke, like, yeah. or a story yeah, yeah, yeah. with your buddies. Yeah, we did this. And then he saw that the interview was serious. Yeah. He was like, oh, but, but yeah, we, we, and then got back into, like, Whoa. Real, he didn't, he, like, he didn't realize the situation. Like his yeah. cadence changed. It went back to how he was right, at the right. games. Like, oh yeah, we did. Oh shit, yeah, we did that thing. Like it was crazy. Yeah, like, and I think now that we like know this going on because you know after World War Two, the whole the whole world was like never again. Like that was the saying, never again. Well, here it is. Yeah. It's happened again for a it's go- while. It's been going on for a while, and now we have a report. We know what's going on. Go stop it. Like that. So that needs th- to be th- what happened. You think we should invade North Korea, Dave? What do you think? Is that your move? Dave's president. Go. Yeah, you're, you you have executive power. No, I th- you know I think Do you, you invade North Korea. Yeah, I think the only people that really have pull over I th- think war is always a last resort, and I think the people that have pull over North Korea, the only reason North Korea is able to be a country is because of China, 
So I think you, you have to build a stronger relationship with China and, and, and maybe publicly start tying China to what happens in North Korea uh, from a PR standpoint to, until it gets to a point that China's like, we just can't be associated. Let North me tell Korea you what I'd do. I'd take our most badass secret Korean assassin, and uh, I'd, I'd just, I'd just murder him. Or, uh, King Jong Il. Yeah, that, I don't understand why that hasn't like, happened. I just, you know, oh, like, certainly, like silent, you know, syringe to the neck, just quick move. Like we've got to have, if we, we've got all this power, you all really, the surveillance of ability. You really feel like King Jong Il? I think we could get somebody, dude. Dennis Rodman could be turned. We could get Dennis Rodman. <laughs> he married himself, dude. He's out of his mind. Listen, he's, he's he's he goes over mind. there a lot, and I'm sure that we could turn Dennis Rodman, mm -hmm. go over there, just slip something in his drink. It it won't kick in for like a couple weeks till you're already gone. Bam, dead. Right? You just like, do like that. Like ricin. Um, yeah. You really think King Jong Un, that one dude is running that show? Yeah. You don't think it's like a council of generals who just had that shit unlocked since his father <laughs> was it, running it, it? I think it's him, man. You know, I, I, I think, think if think if you get rid of that line, that family line altogether, you got to take them all out. I know. You got to get rid of so you got to figure that. out. You got to figure out who's in that line of that royalty line. You got to end that line. But a lot of their population believe, you know, see these people as like these. These They're are deities. our protectors. Yeah, right. these are our like god kings. They would not be happy about it. I, I, I really think, though, yeah, I think I, know, I think education and exposure to the rest of the world. I think you know I think connectivity I think as it as it expands want. is gonna is gonna be the biggest advocate of this. You ever see those pictures? Uh, there those videos of the people crying after like just about yeah. Yeah. died. Dude, none of those they people, staging? they yeah, didn't they look like also. they were really, they cared at all. They looked they like looked they were like, being forced to yeah, cry. Like they had a gun you know, to their head you know I don't camera. really think that they believe all that anymore. Definitely not the young people that are probably figuring out ways to get on the internet, probably like figuring out how to, uh, to get more information. You know, the older, dumber generations, maybe they kind of buy into it, but I, I yeah. don't know. I, I think, I, I think we're not, power. I think we're not going... We're not going over there because they have no. nukes and because there's nothing to take. You know how you like, free they don't have any You resources. know how you change it? You know how you free them? You know those Google balloons that are giving the internet away? Yeah, man. Give the people internet. Yep. Give them uncensored I believe, internet. I do believe And that. let them revolt on their own. I 100% believe that internet That's will, how you fix North Korea. Will change every don't aspect of the Don't fire a single world. U.S. bullet. Just yeah. give them internet. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's their country and it should be theirs and to run the way they want to. drop iPads all over the streets. <laughs> Just crates and crates of iPads <laughs> with porn yeah. and democracy videos <laughs> oh, I know. and fucking YouTube. Like, Just crates the of them Just all let, over. If you gave them the internet and let them figure things yep. out for themselves, and if weed. you just gave them Lots of information. Weed. That's it. Weed is legal over there, believe it or not. Oh. Um, Drugs is actually one of the, the yeah. main ways. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Yeah, well, but I, I agree. Their it, currency is I think anyway. for any country, uh, the way to fix it fastest is just get people plugged in to yeah. each other, get them part of the global conversation, give them information, let people get on YouTube and see how to fix things, see how to like uh, cure diseases, see how to like uh, women's plant education things better. So, women's education. Yeah, there's a girl. Give them information. Rising. They'll figure it out. Yeah. People are, are super resourceful and really good at. at at figuring things out if we have the the resources. Yeah. So David, yeah man. How do people reach out to you? How do we how do they help you? How do you? we find you, David? How do we help you out on this? How do the, how do the folks without giving you? out your cell phone number? Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, probably not. Uh well, you could um the National Peace Corps Association, npca.org. Okay. You can always go there. Um and then we just ask for David? Yeah. It, my, my actual email address is npca-arc um through the NPCA NPCA dash arc yeah. dot com. All resources. Dot org. No, it's actually, dot org. The email address itself is, is long. It's NPCA dash ARC at Peace Corps Connect dot org. That's almost worse than our email. I know. Wow. That's, why, that's why I don't use it. My personal email is. Uh, don't do that. All right. All right. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many followers you got? And I'd love, are, I'd love to talk about we have, this. We have <laughs> seven followers. I don't know. I don't know. I, we, have, we have maybe a dozen. Yeah. Maybe two. I don't know. Find us, find us some. Um, anyway, we gotta go. Merchandise. We gotta finish this up. Love you. See you next week. Maybe we'll do another one this weekend. That'd be great. Stay Thanks for having me, right. guys. Bye. Later.